In this video, I'm going to be addressing a common question I get, and that is whether you should be doing the keyword research in the all category or the books category on Amazon.com. So this is quite important and it's very popular. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch the whole video. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that, then do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I do more videos like this. And don't forget to turn notifications on as well or you won't receive your notification. So this is a situation. Now, if you watch any of my videos where I perform keyword research, and I'll put a link above here, you'll know that I put keywords into the Amazon search bar and look at the number of Amazon search results. And based on those numbers, I decide whether it's a niche I'm going to pursue, i.e. I look at whether the competition is too high or not. And the cutoff figure that I choose is search results of 1,000 or less. So if a keyword has 1,000 or less search results, then I consider that a reasonable keyword to go for because the competition isn't massive and it's not too high so that there is a good chance of you being able to rank on the first page and ideally within the top 10 or super ideally at number one, which can be tough to do if you haven't got any sales history or you haven't got any reviews. Now let's go to Amazon and I'll show you what I mean and I'll show you what the issue is. And this came up recently because it's a good demonstration with the keyword baby logbook. Now what I do is when setting up Amazon I make sure it's set up to deliver to a US state or US city. Here I've got Phoenix and I use the code 85001 because I'm interested really in the search results on the US um, Amazon site, so Amazon.com, because that's where the biggest market is. So we want the, the accurate details for that. So I put in baby logbook into the search bar and it comes up with 1000 results. So that would meet my criteria. And I would say yes is a keyword to go for. And we can scroll down and look at the books and look at the best sellers ranks. And that is in the all category here, all departments. Now this is important. So if we open up another Amazon tab, but this time instead of the all departments, we choose the books department and do a search, it comes up with 50,000 search results. And this gets a lot of people excited and a lot of people have written to me in the comments saying, you know, my research is incorrect, you know, it's actually 50,000, it must be Amazon you're using, and you know, this is a waste of time. But let's look at this in a bit more detail because I went through the, the search results and found some interesting things. Now, what I would say first of all is, and this is my usual response, I choose the all categories because that's where the majority of people are doing their Amazon searches. So I want to see what comes up in the all searches. I agree, some customers may go and, and click on the category and do a search, but the majority will choose the the all. Now, when you search through the first one, two pages, you'll notice that most of these are paperbacks, got some spiral bound books, you've got paperback books, some hardcover books, but most of them I would say are just the normal books, paperback books. Okay. Now, if we go to the all and look on the first page, very, very similar search results. Again, these tend to be the paperback books, the hardcovers paperbacks again. But I've been through these and, and looked at the, the further pages. And if we get a bit deeper into the searches and look at, say, page, we'll choose page three for the moment. What we start to see appear are Kindle purchases. Kindle. Here we've got board book, Kindle and audio books. Now, I'm not sure if Amazon treats each one of these offerings as a separate search result. But as you get deeper into the searches, you'll find that Amazon is just offering up 
kin more Kindle books and more audio books than what ha than what you get on the all searches. So that might may account for the higher number. But why would this be? Well, I gave it some thought. Now, Amazon wants you to obviously buy books. So when someone searches in the all category, Amazon doesn't know for certain whether it is a book. Now, obviously, this is baby logbook. So it's going to offer up those books that would sell most commonly to most people. Now, most people aren't looking for audiobooks or Kindle books. So what I'm suggesting is, suggesting is that when you search in the all category, Amazon is just offering up the most common books. So those would be the, the paperback books, the hard books, and probably the spiral bound books as well. But when you search in the books, Amazon is saying that maybe, okay, well, this person is searching for books. So let's give them Kindle books and audiobooks. I may be completely wrong. And it's also known that Amazon do hide some search results because if you list a book on Amazon, sometimes you won't find it if you're just looking in the all category, but you'll find it if you're looking in the books category. And it may be that because the book isn't selling, so Amazon just isn't showing it. Whereas when you look in the book category, it's showing everything that's basically there. But like I said before, I prefer to search in the category that most customers are searching in. Now, just to add a little bit of confusion to this, something more interesting that I noticed. If we go to scroll down and go to page two, we'll see that the, it, it stays on 1000 search results. So let's go right down to the bottom again and go to page three. Now look, it changes that to 50,000 results. So what's happening here? It's difficult to say, but it may be that when people get deeper into the search, Amazon's then starting to think that, okay, people aren't looking for just the common books that are selling well and so starts to offer up more. So you may discount this keyword totally uh, from that, which is fair enough. The choice is yours. What I'm telling you is what works for me. And I know that if the all results show a thousand, I found it easier to, to rank on the first page. Now I went back and looked, I went back and looked at some of my other uh, books and I've got a few where I am ranking number one for my particular chosen keyword. And just to give you one example, I looked at the number of search results and it was around about, I don't know what it was, 250, 300. And then I went a bit deeper. And when I went a bit deeper onto page three, it came back as 4,000 search results. And then I went to look at books and yes, it came back as 4,000 search results. Now, if I used that figure, I would never have targeted that niche. I would never have got to the number one ranking. I wouldn't have made any sales. So I would still stick to just sticking to the old category. If that says a thousand or less, target that keyword. You may find that there are greater number of search results if you've gone to books or, or search deeper into the, into the all category. But that's the way it is now. What I also did was I went to Helium 10 and looked at Magnet, which is their keyword research. And Helium 10 is accepted as one of the industry standard keyword research tools. And I put in baby logbook and clicked on get keywords. And I scrolled through the, the listings to find baby logbook because I was interested in, to see what search results it said would come up for that. And if we look here, it comes up with greater than 1,000. Now, if there was 2,000 or more search results, it would come up as greater than 2,000. So what we know is from Helium 10 and Magnet, from the information it receives from Amazon, and Amazon doesn't provide them with all the search result data, but Helium 10 is telling us that there's somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000, which is in keeping with the um, search results that you get from the all category. So the take home from this is my advice would be, and I'm only giving you that advice based on what I do and what's worked for me. This isn't like a, a gold standard set in stone sort of, you know, my word is the absolute on it. I'm just telling you what works for me. And yes, I'm selling books. So if you want to sell books, um, you can follow what I do. And my advice is stick to the old category, 
stick to 1000 search results or less. Now, if you decide to, to follow that advice, good. If not, good also. The choice is yours because there are so many other keywords that you can choose in whatever niche you're going for. And if you're not happy to, to go with a keyword because the, the results are, are, are not what you think, then fine. Just discard it. Go on to another keyword and hopefully you will have um, success with that. But I know it works for me and hopefully that would work for you also. But if you choose not to follow it, that's absolutely fine. So that's it. I hope that clears up this issue. I can now use this link when someone asks me this question because it must be the most question I'm getting asked of late. And I did a search on, on Google and I couldn't find any definitive answers to this. But with a bit of research, a bit of thinking about it, I can only give you the information that I think. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thin thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And also hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell. And until next time, goodbye.